Mm, my name is Jeremy and I'm a student at the University of Toronto, Scarborough. I don't live too far from school, so it's convenient for me to save money on gas and parking because it's kind of expensive at school. Actually, yeah, it's more common than you would think. Uh, I had my bike stolen once, and actually it's kind of funny. Um, back in Montreal, my friend, um, he lost his key. He, he locked his bike at a subway station, and he lost his ski his key so he went to Canadian Tire to get like the the cutter thing and he just cut the chain in front of everyone and no one said anything so actually how can you tell if someone's stealing a bike or trying to like unlock his own bike I, I think maybe 90% of the people wouldn't stop you from stealing a bike so it's it's not that like impossible or whatnot Um, yeah, actually last summer I worked in Montreal for the bus company and I worked like started at 6 a.m. So there's like lockers and showers at work. So is if I like rode my bike to work, it was kind of like a morning uh, workout and I just showered at work and I'm all clean and ready for work after. So it was convenient and, and good for, for my health, I guess. Yeah, of course. Why? Uh, I don't really have a specific like love story with bicycles. It's just, it's nice and I like the morning fresh air. I just like the lifestyle, sort of. Hello, my name is George Varela. I have owned this store since 1991. Uh, the age range of customers that come through our store are from two years old up to past 70 years old. From little tiny babies to full grown adults, everybody in between. I love bicycles for many reasons. The most or the biggest reason I love bicycles is because it's very exciting to do. I like bicycles, they go fast, you feel the wind in your hair and you know you're just moving through time and space and it's very thrilling. It's also very good for you health-wise, uh, good you know, energy and uh, good mentally to, to help clear your mind. Um, but I've loved bicycles since I was six years old. Events that I've participated in over the years. I initially started racing bicycles when I was a teenager. I used to race what they call BMX racing, which is an Olympic sport now. Uh, that's a very thrilling type of racing on uh, smaller wheeled bikes. And I did that through my teenage years. And then I really didn't do much racing again until maybe late 1990s, where I started racing some mountain bikes and we were doing 24-hour uh, events where you're on a team and you relay riders over the course of a 24-hour period to see who can do the most laps. Oh, the difference between driving and riding a bike is uh, it's huge. Very, very, very different. Driving can be very stressful, uh, very monotonous. Uh, riding a bicycle is very free. Um, you don't have to stand and be stopped in traffic. You can move even when the cars are stopped, you're moving alongside them. Uh, it's definitely more fun being on a bicycle than in a car.
Um, uh, the effect on business for, for you know, people driving, we tend to see up here in the suburbs, more people ride bicycles for pleasure more so than out of necessity, where in the big cities, a lot of people will ride out of necessity where they need to get to work or get to school and they'll use the bicycle for that. Up here, we have people doing that too, but not to the same extent. Um, in the suburbs, people are a little more addicted to their cars. And, you know, so they find it easy just to jump in the car to go wherever they need to go. But we're trying to change that, try to get people to use their bikes more so than just for fun, but to actually get to work and get to school and you know, try to get some of the cars off the road for less uh, traffic congestion, for sure. Toronto, I believe, is a very friendly, uh, bicycle-friendly city. It, uh, it's gotten better over the years with a lot of bike lanes installed now. You can get through the city quite easily, especially in the east-west corridors, uh, with designated bike lanes to make you feel safer. Um, so I would say you know, it's not like in Europe where it's more focused for bicycles, where they have separate roads completely for bicycles, but it's getting a lot better, yeah. I ride bicycles almost every day. I ride to work almost year round. Uh, even when it's cold or a little bit snowy, I'll ride. And then I ride for fun on the weekends where I go to the forest and ride in the woods. Hi, my name is Drew Bizantin. I'm 29 years old and I'm a professional BMX rider. I started riding BMX when I was 11 years old and uh, 29 now, so over half my life. The thing I love most about BMX is the freedom. You get to choose exactly what you want to do and where you want to go and, and how you want to do each individual trick. BMX changed my life completely. It gave me something positive to focus on and since then it's taken me all around the world. I've met amazing people all around the world and it's given me experiences that uh, I never would have got the opportunity to do if I didn't follow my dream and continue to ride BMX. My name's Matt Lestowski, I'm a uh, manager here at Droid 150 Indoor Bike Park. So we're a 100,000 uh, square foot indoor riding facility that caters to uh, kids and adults, all ages. Um, we do primarily BMX and mountain bike riding here. This riding's more uh, aggressive, so it's uh, faster, um, the stunts are crazier, um, the risk is higher, but it's a lot, a lot of fun. Um, so in here there's lots of ramps, climbs, descents, and uh, stuff for every type of riding that we do here. Yeah, yeah, as you can see there's uh, lots of little kids in here, it's a great family sport. Um, parents love to see their kids progress and, and try new things, so, yeah. Definitely, yeah. Um, it's great to, to make friends here. I see kids uh, ride and, and kind of open up to other kids. Um, so they leave with a smile on their face. It helps with confidence as well. Um, learning new skills physically and, and mentally too, it's, uh, it's a great challenge and kids love it. They're here every day, all day.
float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Keys to ignition are like gloves to Ali. To and fro, water with the sea. The sunrise is my peace. I float like a butterfly, sting like a bee.